and it's starting to spin inside I can see that uh, it's starting to twist inside wow this is not looking good And hello and welcome to another exterior video where we work on our truck sometimes i'm successful sometimes i'm not and today we're actually coming back to continue working on changing our fluids last time we were able to change the front differential the engine oil and the transfer case but we had a slight hiccup with the rear differential that's where we're gonna try to work today we're gonna try to open up that fill up plug i actually went to nissan and i got a original plug from them so the only thing that is different, the one I have is a 40 millimeter hex, which is all rusted, and this is like a, just a with a ratchet. So that's where I'm gonna try to open up that fill up plug, test it, make sure that this one works, and then we'll take it from there. As you can see, I was soaking it wet with a, like a brake cleaner and a WD 40 fuel for a couple of days. So now I'm actually gonna try to break it with a use uh the, the vice grip let's see if that works i haven't used these things in a while actually so okay locked in pretty good let's see if i can break it loose Actually, let me try to clean some rust from inside maybe maybe I can maybe I can be lucky maybe I'll get lucky and I clean it up and I can use my 40 millimeter hex key So what I did, I actually went and I bought a different set of hex keys. So hopefully one of these will fit and I think it's actually gonna be a 12 millimeter rather than 14 millimeter, even though that what it says on the description. I guess you cannot trust everything. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to see if it will fit in there. And by the looks of it, it actually it almost fits in there i think that's gonna be our key uh i just gotta make sure i can push it all the way in there before i start before i start twisting it or anything it's still full of it's still a little bit full of uh rust but it's going it's nearly halfway in so gonna try to clean it up a little more and we try to push it in You know, hmm. Well, it's not 12 millimeter either. It looks more like 13 millimeter, but I cannot find 13 millimeter anywhere.
actually I believe I was able to hammer in the 14 millimeter in there uh, I don't know how deep it sits in there but I'm gonna give it a try let's see if we can unscrew this if I only can get a better grip here is more leverage So far it's not budging in. And it's starting to spin inside. I can see that uh, it's starting to twist inside. Wow. This is not looking good. I think it's moving guys all right Whew. I think we got it we actually finally broke it loose wow that was a bit of a nightmarish so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take it off completely and I'm gonna try a new plug in there and see if I can put it in there and if it's gonna get tight then I'm gonna undo the bottom and drain it so let's continue hopefully it's not gonna leak all right wow i don't see any oil in uh, in there it looks bone dry in there well not bone dry but i don't see any oil anyways we got it out guys <laughs> we got it out it's just a bit dirty that's about it so now I'm gonna try and see if I can put a new one in there which we have right here hopefully it's the same size hopefully the threads are the same and everything it's a brand new one and this one as you can see it's not a hex it's just a regular regular size and it fits like a charm all right nice so now we're gonna undo the bottom and drain hopefully there is some oil in there and hopefully this was not dry all this time and okay now we're gonna do undo the, the bottom bolt which is a 10 millimeter and let's see what we can drain from there hopefully there is some oil in there so now i'm kind of concerned a little bit okay Whew not too bad now probably can just undo it by hand and let's see what what will happen there how much oil is gonna drain oh yeah still have some that's a good sign that's a good sign it doesn't look too bad i think uh, kind of curious about this have a little chunks of uh, dirt but no metal just chunk of dirt so let's just wipe it off 
just just uh, just some chunks of dirt some uh, I don't see any big metal pieces so at least that that's a that's a good thing I guess and okay it pretty much stopped draining so I'm just gonna clean it out a little bit and we're gonna put the the magnetic plug back in I put some uh, silicon not the silicon the RTV gasket and and yeah that should be good just wipe it off a little bit this to the side and let's screw this back in place all right that should be perfect that feels good swipe it off again nice now we can start filling it up with a new oil but before i do that i'm actually i, I, I actually put the old plug back in place just to cover the hole and with a knife i just want to clean up all of this old gasket from here Okay, now we got our gear oil and for the rear we're gonna use 75W90 gear oil but always make sure you use the right gear oil the one is specified by your manufacturer and just gonna start pouring it all in I mean you can always take the tire out that way you have more leverage to pour it in there but this works fine as well much much later all right guys we are full it is actually full now so we can stop pumping the oil and they're just gonna do a little one squeeze just to ensure yeah we are it's full all right it pretty much takes almost one can and three quarter so that's what it looks like okay just gonna wipe it off a little bit over here and over here nice so clean and once again i put some rtv gasket on the on our new plug and let's just start screwing it in carefully maybe i put too much i actually did put a lot more a bit more than on any of the other ones but hopefully it's gonna be all right and now we just let's make it tight okay and okay i think that's perfect it should be sufficient i'm just gonna wipe it off all the residue wipe this all off that way we can always see if it's leaking or not but it shouldn't let's wipe all of this off all right and we finally finally were successful to replace the fluid in our rear differential i'm so happy and all right guys it's actually getting dark already but it's kind of even better it's not as hot as it was before but i'm glad that we were able to change the fuel in the rear differential it was a bit tricky because i had to really hammer that socket in there because i was under the impression it's not 14 millimeter but in fact it was 14 millimeter it just was so rusted but now we have a brand new fluid in there and a brand new fill up plug so it all worked out perfect as always i'm happy that i was able to work on my truck again and and i was finally was able to fix that so now we have our old new fluid in there i'm so happy and i guess i'm gonna finish the video on this positive note as well <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it might be helpful to anybody and until next time everybody bye